<coughs> oh, I'm sick as shit. I know what I need. We just gonna rock with it. Are you just gonna take the Great commentary, guys. Great commentary. <laughs> Yo, I told you, we about to do this shit right now, bro. Do what? What are we doing? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Ignorant Noodle. Oh, it's your boy, Dre. Whatever you want to call me. And we back with, just on a very different subject, with one of our favorite guests. <laughs> Kiana. And one of our newer guests. Jasmine. Hey, we, <laughs> you know, we talk about interracial relationships. So what are your thoughts on the matter? Anybody? Like what? Or more? Narrow question. Okay. How do you feel about black men that don't date black women? I think it's disgusting. How do you Damn! About, how do you feel about black women that <laughs> don't date black men? I don't I really that. know too many black women that don't date black men. It's, they just don't have that option because a lot of black men don't want to date, you know, dark yeah, skinned black true. women. That's yeah. Don't speak your mind. Chill. Don't don't have ain't seen a joke before. <laughs> nah, man. I feel like a lot of black women. Are like black men can see Sofia Vergara and say, "Yo, she's fine. She's bad." I would love a woman like that. That's it. There y'all go, uplifting these Puerto Rican, Hispanic women for all this shit. But women sit all day, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, Bebo, all that shit. Niggas are trash. Niggas are trash. Hey, you cute, but your, your, your wig kind of, you ashy. Since the black men are the, uh, the white people of, of the black community. What? Black women shit on black men. And it's like... Niggas do fucked up shit. I'm not going to say niggas don't. But niggas know they do fucked up shit. Women will bash a nigga for six hours and then say, I don't see why black men don't want to be with black women. We're trying to be a ridicule. You know what's funny though? The what? black women that always say niggas, are niggas ain't shit. They dating a nigga. <laughs> uh, ain't shit nigga. At that. And have dated plenty of ain't shit niggas. Okay. Yeah, but when a, a black man dates a woman outside of like, they tried to cancel Michael B. Jordan. Oh, they found out his girlfriend what, wasn't black. Boy, they tried to get rid of him right before Black Panther came out. But Rihanna wasn't got that uh, Muslim dude. Yes. Serena wasn't got the uh, white dude from Reddit. Yes, queen. I'm kind of fan of that, honestly. Damn. I respect that. That's none of my business, though. Yeah. But, uh, exactly. But why, why don't you respect that? I didn't say I didn't respect it. I'm just not a fan you of that. You literally just said, I don't respect that. No, no. I said I'm not a fan of that. I will run the tape back in the edit. I'm doing it. Congratulations. You played yourself. I said I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> All right, so why are you not a fan of it? Why I, is it? Why? I'm sorry. Really? Just, I'm sorry. I was about to interrupt you. That's so rude. I just don't like those whole ashy niggas. Like, I don't like that. Like, when you say I don't rest, I'm automatically thinking about white. I feel like we should just stay away from that completely. Not that I'm racist or anything, because I ain't racist, but. If you gotta say, you might be. So you know how I feel. Look, I might be if, on the borderline. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I feel like I feel like if a black woman has let a white man fuck, it's, it's a no go on my end. Like I can't. Oh, if she if she let a white man fuck, it's a no go on my end. That's the same as when white man ask a, a white girl like, "Oh, you ever slept with a black man?" And they go, "Yeah." And he's like, <sighs> "But I'm not white, so that that doesn't have anything to do with me." <laughs> so, so she so she's been with a white man. You just it's it's a no. Why is it a no for you? Just a no. Well, what does the color of someone's penis have to do with like? I feel like, like because I feel like women who let white men fuck, they they will they will clown niggas all day. They'll just they they they, they the the niggas ain't shit type of women. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I disagree. Oh, why do you disagree? <laughs> I slept with a half white guy. I've never slept with a black guy before. And I don't bash black men. You don't? I don't. Oh. Have you ever heard me out of the seven years we've been friends talk down about God damn, seven years? Black people? No. Okay then. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out. Then what? Do you date black men? I have, yeah. Yeah, so when was the last, when was the last black man you dated? Probably 
freshman year of college a long okay. time ago. Um, so what what is your type now, or do you have a type? Whoever treats me right with respect. You don't have a preference? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I just have to talk to different types of people. Do you have a preference? <laughs> yeah. The black and with the juice? I do like dark skin, but like I said, I don't, you know, I ain't splitting the line. Like she said, it's whoever, but it's whoever in my comfort zone. In my comfort zone. You know what I'm saying, but uh, a dude can treat you right, but he don't fit your physical preference. So you out here missing out on a good king because he don't look the way you want him to look. And don't say me, that's somebody. But nah, that's, that's 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 a big thing. Like uh, women always say, oh, I want a man to treat me like this, treat me like this, treat me like this. A nigga try to slide in the DMs. Oh nah, just because he doesn't look the way you want. Nigga look but you will never, saying. yeah, you will never know how good of a person he is until right. later on. So if a nigga, if a nigga look. He look goofy as hell. He tried to approach you. What is your What is your thoughts? I don't discriminate. I've talked to plenty of you know people that people didn't think I would talk to, and they were just as jerks like the people who were like super handsome and everything. Mm -hmm. So it was an even worse experience because I just gave them a chance. Was like damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Loki, I've heard women say that shit. Hey, nigga, you too ugly to be treating me like this. I, I gave yeah, you a that's shot. True, yeah, that's true. But let a man say that to a woman. You too ugly for me to be for you to be treating me like this. Boy, oh, he go bashing black women again. Niggas ain't shit. And, yeah, ashy. Because I don't know why women go to that. Why niggas got to be ashy all the time? Oh, low key. Y'all really like talking about how women are bashing black men, but this whole time... You've been bashing women. I've been bashing, bashing women. Bashing We've been bashing women. Well, yeah. Because what am I? Black. What, am, what? What is my gender? Male. I mean, I can't speak on anything. Like I said, I've only been. But, but we're not bashing. We're just saying that this is what we see. And if we say anything like there's a, there's literally a double standard to where women can voice their opinion right. as much as they want, but if a man steps one toe out of line, he is seen as ain't shit, and the women love. And women, uh, and nothing else. They'll support. They'll support another woman when they when yeah. they when they stamp somebody. They'll be like, "Oh, this nigga ain't shit." And then a person you don't even know, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, uh, uh, girl, I know, I know exactly what he look like." Yeah. This type, da, 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 and we'll go off off about somebody you know you don't even know just because you heard some yeah. um, story. So what I'm saying is, niggas can one nigga that's not shit for you might be the world for you, but you wouldn't even know because niggas ain't yeah. shit. Why? My life's like, I got cheated on. And people are still saying niggas ain't shit. And I'm just sitting here like, I got... Damn. Who, who cheated on you, bro? <laughs> don't, don't, don't start. What you talking about, bro? I never <laughs> heard the story before. <laughs> don't start. I ain't never heard the story before, bro. What, what, was I, what, what was her name? Don't start, nigga. What was her sexual orientation before <laughs> you? <laughs> don't start. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't start on that shit. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The, the, the camera would like, no. Fuck you, nigga. Our, our subscribers would like, no. <laughs> All 36 of them? All 36 of them. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, women love saying niggas ain't shit. And then women will do ain't shit shit. And everybody's, oh, you go, queen. You do this, you do that. And it's like, what? Why is there a double standard? But, like, if a nigga don't check his homeboys for doing ain't shit shit, like, if, a nigga, like, if he was out here wilding out and I didn't check him, oh, that's the thing. Niggas ain't trying to uh, help the other niggas be great. They just won't let niggas be bad. Blah, 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 blah. But if a girl's doing fucked up shit, what she doing ain't got shit to do with me. And it's just like... So like if this nigga date white women and I'm around him, it's gonna be like, oh, I bet you only date white women too. Nah, what that nigga do ain't got shit to do with me. But if a black girl dates white white men, it's like uh, oh you date white men? Nah, but I'm thinking about it, shit. He treat her right. Damn. I just wanna hear y'all thoughts on on anything that we've just discussed. How do you feel about interracial dating? Doesn't matter to me. They doesn't matter to me. But um, I'm with them on that. Like, I don't care. Like, if, they, if you happy, you happy. At, at the end of the day, but 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 that shit you said before, I don't, I don't agree oh, with that. I um, mean, I be, I, but I said <laughs> what I said, and I ain't changing. I don't, I don't agree with that shit. <laughs> it's just another. Like, it just it just it just like shrivel my dick up when I when I hear it. Like, and she's been with a white man. That, that, like, uh, damn. That. <laughs> You been with a white woman? I sure have. I call it reparations. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> oh man, see this is what, this what happens when I don't write your script. You say some off the wall shit. When have you ever wrote my script? I mean, you can get into that. Oh, okay. Okay. Seriously, brother, 
You don't, you really don't, like, you can't be, if a black woman is built with a white man, you really. I'm, I'm dead serious, bro. I'm, I don't think I've ever talked to a black girl that's dated a white man. No. I, I went to Columbus High, bro. It was, it was prevalent. I went to Harris County, nigga. I, you say it like I know. I don't know anybody that can hear the camera besides you. <laughs> that was that, but you, you said that like Columbus Harris County got the same demographic. Do, do they? Like, you could have legit. <laughs> I would have never known that, bro. Had you not, had you not dropped that wisdom on me. Are you fucking serious? I'm dead ass serious, bro. Boy, Harris County, white as hell. Uh, it ain't, not, ain't nothing but interracial relationship. It's just a white girl get with one black dude on the football team and think they can say nigga, and you just sitting there like. Hey, bro, white pussy ain't that good for you to just be letting that shit slide. Like, it's check her out, out, bro. All right, bro, we ain't going <laughs> to keep trying to cross that line, nigga. We're not about to play with you. Bro, what I'm saying? I just, I mean, I personally, I don't give a shit. If you want to date somebody outside your race, go ahead, as long as you're happy. But I, don't be bashing niggas in the process. How do y'all feel? Okay, so why why is it okay? I just want to know, like, you you specifically, you said... That you you think it's disgusting when men, black men disca- d- date outside of their race, but when white women do it, it's, I just want to know like why is that? It's just I've heard a lot of black men tear down black women, and I hear that angry neg- narrative, and it's just not true, and so that's why I don't like it. Oh, you're just angry and bitter, and all these different things. White women have flaws too, just sure they do. don't probably you know express themselves like black women do. Don't mean like. You know, you should just disregard an entire culture. Has anybody, like, anybody you said said that you were angry? Like, has a black man that you dated said that you were angry? Not that I can, like, recall. Like, I mean, if I get into it with someone, it's just, like, kind of normal. But the black guys that I've talked to, they've, like, dated, you know, outside of their race, but they never, like, compared me in my face to, like, a white woman or a Hispanic woman. I don't know. I was with one white woman. We wasn't even dating. We were just kind of messing around. Stereotypes was true. She like drove me places. She bought me stuff. I was like, yo, that's crazy. All black women not buying you stuff? Black women don't buy me shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get shit from black women. <laughs> oh, well, that's, well, that's not even bashing. Let's talk about that. I was like, that's not even bashing. That's just straight up. Like, let's talk about that. Why no, because. Subject? Because that is something. That is because that's one of the things. Like when black men, like if a black man dates outside his race, these women are doing things for him. Just like I can appreciate this. But she's not doing that for that white man that she dating. Okay, but that ain't got. Sh- I don't give a fuck what she do for that white man. What so I'm saying black is, women not gonna do for the black man that she dating. That's why thing. can we not just do for the person we're with? Like, it's why is this a race thing? Along the line, but you talking about fresh? Like, yeah, the white girl gonna do it for you. But that's what I'm saying. No. I've been with women, black women, for like long times, and they've never like they've never like even simple shit. They wouldn't do like if I just asked for this, they wouldn't do that for me. Me and this girl, like, I had a uh, I was just right before I was about to join the army. I had came back home before I left for basic training. She sent me a box full of like my favorite candies. A card, all this saying, you know, thank you for everything you've done. You know, you've been real great to me. All this, she said that to me for my birthday. I barely get fucking happy birthday texts from people that I've known for years, just friends. Well, that's unfortunate. You like, need some new friends, you know. Yeah, yeah I do like need a, some new it's friends. It's a culture thing, you know. Black women are the most like oppressive race of women on the planet. So, I don't really feel like how we're raised is to just to be openly affectionate and you know doing all that kind of stuff versus white women that's just like the norm to them you can't generalize every black woman because i'm the type of woman to go above and beyond for a man i paid you know my man's bills not just the person i'm with now when i was in high school i did that and when i was in high school dating a black guy who went to jail like i was there for him every step of the way like that's the type of person i am because that's how i was raised but not every black woman fits like this Picture, you're, yeah, you know, why, you know, they are saying all of like, no, why, why, why is it that black women can say we are all different, we all treat our men different ways, but a black man can't be like, you get three niggas on, you? you get three niggas on Twitter walling out, and it's like all niggas ain't shit. Like, that's the thing. If you, if a black man's talking crazy on Twitter, it's like, why are you saying, like, who hurt you? This man can say specifically, no black woman has ever done this for me. But when it's niggas and shit, it's like, oh, this one nigga did this to me. And it's like, 
No, it's never like that. And it's like she said, just like we are oppressed, you guys are oppressed. So there's things like if you with a girl and you're not really feeling her, you're not gonna be shit to her. And so that's kind no, of No, I just don't talk to her. That's really it. Yeah. Um I don't go out my way to disrespect you. Like that's one thing, like if 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 you follow our show, if you follow our channel, if you follow our Instagram, we are big supporters of black people. I went out my way to find black people to be on the show. I went out my way to find black female artists because I'm doing the story time and I'm telling the stories and I found black female artists to illustrate these things for me because in my head I said black women aren't recognized enough uh, in the world as it is, but I'm not going to let that be on our channel. So I'm going out my way to black women did that. I'm going out my way. Hell, a black woman that owns a hair salon gave me that. So I go my, out my way to support black women. But if I was this, if I was just to say, oh, uh, a black woman treat a black woman treated me wrong this time, it's like there y'all go bashing black women. It's like no, I'm saying this one specific person, and all the other shit I do will be erased because of that one statement. And that's the issue, like you said, black men are oppressed. Like, but that's the thing, black women, black women do get shitted on. I'm not denying that. I understand black women get shitted on a lot. I understand. I'm trying not to be one of those niggas, but. At the same time, I will go out my way to defend a black woman in anything. But if I even accidentally step out of line, it's like, oh, there you go. You're one of them. It's like, yo, I fucked up. Let me tell me what I did wrong so I can fix it. Don't like don't just group me in with the niggas ain't shit thing. And I feel like that's one of those issues we have where two opposing sides, like how they say, oh, the police and black people or well, black people act the right. The police won't treat them bad. Well, if police wasn't treating black people bad, we wouldn't be like this around. So it's two opposing sides always fighting. That's how it is with black men and black women. Anytime one person says one thing out of line, the other side is ready to be there instead of everybody just like, yo, we all getting shitted on right now. Like, what the fuck are we doing? But that's black people. Like, black people in general can't ever can't identify, yeah. can't yeah. yeah. bro. Except for Black Panther came out. And even then, niggas were still arguing, yo, why black people got to be so extra for a movie? Like, yo niggas will argue about anything. Quick question. If y'all men go to jail, how long are y'all staying with them? Um, it depends if we're married or not. If you're married, you're sticking around? Uh, it just depends on... I would say it depends on the crime. I just watched the movie the other day. Literally, this lady, she was married to the dude, and he went to jail. And she stayed around for a year trying to get him, like, his sentence reduced and everything. But, you know, he fell down that rabbit hole, and then she had to just walk away from it. So I feel like that's a good... But I don't know, is it is it wrongful incarceration? Because, like, if the nigga murdered three people, girl, get out. You you lucky. They got him. You're safe. Leave. But you never know the situation, no, either. Not saying that I'll stick, because I don't know how I feel about it. No, no, no. I know. If the nigga murdered three people because they was trying to attack you, hey, shout out to my nigga. Hold him down. But if the nigga just out here murdering people because they stepped on his J's, girl, leave. Get away. You're safe. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel like... The reason they went to jail is something to hold him down for a lot. All right, so if the nigga say he, he got sentenced to five years, are you going to be there for the entire five year period? But you're not married. You're not married. You're not married. I'm not married. And but y'all y'all been in a long term relationship. I'm talking four years. And then he got a five year sentence. sentence. He got a five year sentence. I still say it depends on what he did. Like, I don't know because that's two different timelines. Like, jail, five years, that's not long. But out here in real life, five years, that's a long time. You think it ain't a long time being in jail for five years? Jail, hell. I'm saying, but, you know, people, well, you, other saying, people that's in jail for like 25 years, you know what I'm saying? So if you get a five years, it's like, oh, God, I got a five years. You, you get okay, five years. okay. And yeah, I thought you were saying like five nah, years to so you out here is like, oh uh, man, five years without him. But like, him and so I was like, oh shit, five years, nigga, we good. That's what I was yeah, like. No, no. But okay, yeah, I guess you're saying in, re in, in reference to the sentences we normally get, five years ain't shit. Okay. Good answer. Cause I know, yeah. some, I know some folks. As soon as soon as nigga gets sent to jail, I used to think my aunt was Missy Elliott, cause she uh, she went to prison and she looked like Missy Elliott, cause it was back in you know back in the day, and my aunt really looked like Missy Elliott. So every time she went to prison, I thought that was her excuse to go on tour as Missy Elliott. <laughs> Swear yeah. to God. How old was you, bro? Nineties. <laughs> it was in the nineties. Damn. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. When I finally found out what prison was, I said, "Oh my God, this where you been?" <laughs> <laughs> I thought celebrities wasn't allowed to tell their family members they were celebrities. I thought that's how you kept 
You're so safe. Yeah, you realize. Yeah. Hey, hey, when they, did you stop believing in the Easter Bunny and uh, Santa Claus? Oh, Mama cut that shit out early, oh, okay. nigga. It was 98. Oh, she cut that out early. You know what she told me? You ain't going to give credit to some fat white man doing for you when I'm out here busting my ass. That's exactly what my parents told me, too. But um, you, you Jamaican, so you know Jamaican parents are just vicious. I was going to say you Jamaican, though. You crazy on the slick. I'm not. Why, see, why, why, do y'all, why do y'all automatically assume we crazy? Yeah, why do why do black women say, oh, I, I want a black man, but somebody bring up with Jamaican, like, <laughs> <laughs> do Jamaican that come as black men, or is that just like a whole different type it of crazy? It's crazy as we're really not though. But I, I do hear about uh, you know the Jamaican voodoo stories, the Kool Aid, the spaghetti. That's Creole, bro. That, that's Creole. That, that's Creole. That's Creole. That's Creole. That's Creole. That's Creole. That's Creole. No, that shit. Mm -mm. I, bro, I had somebody make me some uh, Creole spaghetti, bro. Did you eat it? I sure did. She didn't tell me until afterward, bro. But uh, how'd that work out for you? You good? I'm I'm straight, bro. But but uh, <laughs> that shit true. That shit true. I was. You, you was in love. I, but uh, <laughs> but I know my. I, I couldn't see shit, but she couldn't do no wrong with my eyes. Damn, bro. Three months. Baby girl, how'd you like that? Boy, that was a long ass three months, boy. Ba baby girl, how'd you like that? You know, baby girl, is why she Jamaican? Nigga, hell no. <laughs> no, she wasn't. She might have fucked up and gave me some spaghetti because, boy, I was having my nose, nostrils wide open. Who? 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 who, who, who Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to get the story out of you because our viewers want to hear it. Fuck you. Uh, uh, yeah, they want to hear it. We talk about interracial relationships, bro. Oh. All these people are black. Fuck you. Um, Fuck you. Let's talk about uh same same race relations. Let's talk about that then. What same? Nah, yeah, we're we're talking talking about interracial. Nah, we talking about how, how many white women have you been with? How, wait, how, many, how many women outside your race have you been with? Six. Damn, dude. The fuck was the other ones? Three white women, uh, an Asian chick, and then two Hispanic girls. How is that? Asian girl. That just sounds bad. How was that? Rephrase that, please. That sounds bad. <laughs> no, I mean, but it, it, was, it wasn't all bad. It, it was just lazy. Like, it was just lazy. I, 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 had, I had expectations that, like, it was, like, was going to be some real, it was going to be some real <laughs> crazy sex. It wasn't. It wasn't at all. I'm talking about as far as a relationship. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I had the same thought she had. Oh, oh nigga, sex? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I thought, I thought that's what she was talking about. Because you asked me how many women. How many have you, so you've never dated anyone, it was just all sex? No, I dated a white woman before. Like in your Columbus days? No. Bro, no, uh, it was in college. Bro, I, I was ugly as hell in high school, boy. They wasn't, they wasn't giving me a boy no play. <laughs> they wasn't giving me no play. Uh, uh, you must have got funnier because you don't look that much better. I know you ain't talking Why? about Why? How many people were well, you already you, you Yeah, hey, I have not dated you outside never? my race. You know, you have well, just slept with somebody outside your race? No. Have you how many how many people have you dated outside your race? Two. Have you ever sold anybody outside of your race? That you wasn't dating like two. Two people. Okay. Not too crazy. Oh. What, are, what what were their uh Were they white? Was any of them white? Like what was the racist? What do you mean? Like their their ethnicity. They're Hispanic. But, but, so you're, so you're just like Hispanic dudes. That's you know Hispanic, that's like our brothers and sisters. You know, we all don't, 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 don't say that in front of them. Shit. Kick ass for that. Right. They don't respect it. Boy, they don't Hispanics know. do not like being called grouped in with black they people. They show them, boy. Oh, that's Especially so like Dominicans and shit. Like, what they say, uh, the only difference between a, a Haitian and a Dominican is one stop on the slave ship. And they, they really don't like, they do not like being grouped in with black. That's why I like Amara La Negra. Am I saying her name right? I have no idea. Um, I don't even want to say it. I don't know. I know it's the Negra. So See, that's the thing because the Negra part gets to me, and I just I just feel like that's not her name. But <laughs> Amara, Amara and the Negra. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, she's saying I'm Afro Latina. She's embracing both sides. She's I'm the black. First person I've ever heard. Like, I didn't even know what that was until. Really? I mean, I've always heard it. Yeah, I've, I've always heard, heard it. it. And that's that's sad. Like. That is but there's so many black and Hispanics that nobody's ever let them get that. Like, uh, I went to basically a nigga uh, from Puerto Rico. He was half race Puerto Rico, half race in Atlanta. But when he joined for the army, he was in Puerto Rico. So when they flew us in, they flew us into the Atlanta airport, you know, before you get on the flight to go wherever you're going for basic. He had a bunch of Puerto Ricans that had shitty English. So they're trying, you know, to order food, and none of them could speak, you know, a good enough English to get the, the conversation down. So you see this one black kid in the corner chilling, and he's just sitting there, and he, he realized what issues they was having. 
So he came up and he was just like, hey, yo, I got this. And he turned to him and started speaking Spanish. And he was just translating for all of them. But when you look at him, all they saw was a black kid. They didn't realize he was Puerto Rican. He embraced his Puerto Rican side. He keeps the flag on him. He's black and Puerto Rican. And nobody respected him as either black or Puerto Rican. Like people would always question him because his name was uh, Savion Rodriguez. So you see Hispanic on his uh, paperwork, and then you see a black man in front of you, and everybody says, oh, this can't be you. He's like, yo, why the fuck can't it be me? He's like, I eat plantains, I wear Jordans. Like, what the fuck? I like basketball, I speak Spanish. Like, why the fuck can't I be both? And it was one of those things that they was always trying to group him in with either the Puerto Ricans or the black people. And he was just like, why the fuck can't I be both? And that's one of those things where I feel like with interracial relationships, Everybody glorifies the light-skinned baby. Everybody glorifies the mixed child. But when you see the actual relationship, ill. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's, eh, I don't want to see that. That's weird. Nah, bro, I think... Like, Blazing women? Or seeing some of the finest women in the world. But let a black chick be with an Asian nigga. Ugh, how'd he get her? Or why is he with her? Like, Asians see that shit as fucking, like... I feel like as much as black people shit on each other for dating outside their race, we're still more accepting of it. I feel like every other culture, like, they will kick you out the family for that shit. Yeah. Like, let a black person bring home a white person. Oh, here you go, fucking with the white people again. That's the most you get. Asian nigga bring home a black woman, Hispanic woman? Shit, that nigga might as well not even come home for the next holiday. That nigga out. You right. You right. Like, niggas will make jokes, and I feel like that's one of the things with interracial. Niggas will make jokes all day. Male and female, we all making fucking jokes. Nah, but I... I want to say no, this though. I want, I want to say this though. If you date exclusively outside of your race, you need to make sure that the person you're dating, their, their ideologies line up with you. you yeah, you okay. can't have one of them. Like you can't be dating a white man, swear he down for the culture, and, and then, then you got a then, Trump supporter hat. Now, nah, like my homeboy, he, he fucked, like he, he got a he had a white baby mama, and like he don't he like she don't do she don't she don't comb the hair like all that shit all the black that, issues. Then with, like um. Uh, Back when police brutality, it, like when he yeah. was getting killed, she, she didn't fuck with none of that. She was like, "Well, what do you mean? Like, if we and that's the thing. Like, and I'm just like, bro, you didn't like what? What have you been talking about in your relationship, bro? Like, it wasn't. It was all sex. Black men are fetishized, bro. You seen that episode of Insecure? Which one? Well, uh, dude was at the store. He was supposed to be getting beer for the hangover with his boys, and then the two white girls came oh, up, yeah, one and threesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they pretty much treated that nigga like a piece of meat, and then it was just like they couldn't get it up. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, boy, and it was like yeah, and then, like they legit like got dressed, started calling up another. They started comparing them to other niggas. And I feel like that's how it is with black men. Like black men love like black women. Black men like dating outside the race because of how black men are put on a pedestal outside of their race. But all it is, it is a fetish thing. But at the same time, black women are saying, I will treat you right. I will treat you how you should be treated. I will treat you like my king. But anything they do is niggas ain't shit. And it's like, I don't want to have to deal with that to get to the good part. You get treated like a king when you act like a king. If you don't act like a king, you ain't getting treated But then if a nigga tries to act like a king, it's, oh, this nigga's trying to control me. No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've seen it happen. That's the thing. That's, that's, that's this conversation we need to have because... Men will try to be that provider, but anytime they try and see this, trying to do everything. Like, if a man came to you and said... This is like she said, don't try to step on my toes and do it. But, but no, that's the thing. If a man says, baby, you know, I got this house. Let's move here. Let's do this. I got this job. I'm trying to take care of you. Or if a nigga says, you know, you don't have to work. I can provide for you. In the back of your head, you're going to be thinking, oh, well, shit, if I don't do anything for myself, this nigga's going to think he can control me. No. And if he fucks up and says some shit that like, real good to me. I got my degree. Then that's like if a nigga fucks up and says some shit like, uh, "Oh, baby, why are you trying to get a job? You know, I'm trying to take care. All you gotta do is look good for me." Him, all he's saying is, "See, exactly." That's like in his head, all he's saying is, "Baby, I just want you to look good. That's all I care about." But in your head, it's like, "Oh, you telling me all I'm a trophy?" See, exactly. Yeah, but it's bro, like you lost me with that one, bro. But no, that's what I'm saying. You lost that's what I'm saying. <laughs> nigga fucks up and says that, but that's not what he means. He's just saying, baby, you don't have to do anything. I can do everything for you. But he says that one phrase, and now he's getting shit. Everything else he did is out the one. Like none of that shit fucking matters because he fucked up and phrased it like that one time. No, because he means it. That's really what he means. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with him on this one. Bro. I don't know. Uh, 
Because, like, at the end of the day, bro, nobody. I, I feel like black women especially don't want to. Like, they want to. They want to do stuff for themselves. Like, I understand that. I, I fully support that shit. Yeah, but so imagine, imagine saying, you you don't gotta do nothing. I'm gonna take care of us. Like that 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 should sound awful, bro. I mean, I'll say okay, but don't say just See? sit around here and look good. Like that's the, like that's what I'm saying. That's what I told you I want to do something. Like if it's something, because I have dreams and goals. You know, if I want to go out here and venture, don't be like, no, you need to sit down. Oh no, I'm not. No, not not those niggas that's legit trying to control you. I'm just saying there are niggas that will that are trying to say I can do. Like you don't have to worry about nothing. And some women see that as a man trying to control. It's like no, like there's certain ways to go about it. Like if a man's just like, don't worry, I got all the money. You're good. You can, if you want to work, you can work. I don't care. I'm just saying you don't have to. Don't stress over it. It's like, okay, cool, but then it's like, if he, like I said, if he says one thing, fucks up and says one thing like, oh, you know, I just want you to look good for me. You said how quickly you were just like, oh, uh-uh. Yeah, no I'm saying, he, not he's not thinking, it, thinking of it like that. He's literally just saying, you don't have to do nothing. Just, he, all he's saying is just look good. That's all I care about. Because you can say that, oh, that's fucked up, but let your nigga start following, let that nigga start getting out of shape. Let that nigga start, you know, not looking as good for him. You're going to be like, well, damn, nigga, like, the no, fuck? That happened to me before, too. See? It is. You, you didn't like this shit, but if a nigga said, oh, I just want you to look good for me, like, oh, what does that even matter? Oh, well, let this nigga start falling off the fucking wagon. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh, baby, tighten it up. I'm just saying, you could do a couple crunches. Uh-uh, put that down. You don't need to eat that. Uh-uh, stop. It's, it's as though, like, but at least he's saying, I will do everything else for you. Just look good. And women take it like, oh, this nigga's wilding out. Like, Nah, oh, man, this nigga give you a place to stay. He just bought you a new car, gave you two beautiful little babies, all the money in the world. You can do whatever you want, but he fucks up and says that one phrase: "Just look good for me." Done for it. Now you calling up Keisha? Y'all about to cuss this nigga out? Y'all yeah. plotting? You wanna know how your girl really feel about you, bro? Read that group chat, boy. <laughs> they dragging you. They dragging you for filthy that bitch. <laughs> and I feel like that's the thing. What, like, even if. If a man openly expresses a uh, discomfort or a uh, displeasement like any type with a black woman, it seems as niggas are always bashing black women. But black women can openly express how niggas ain't shit. Clearly not, because that's what you've been talking about this whole time, how we bash. Because we, because cause niggas. But see, the thing is, you can never say all, like, you stereotyping. And I would be, stere and I would be stereotyping if I said niggas ain't shit. At the end of the day, I feel like it comes down to communication. I ain't never said black women ain't Communication sure. is a huge problem. Yeah, communication is... The communication between men and women is terrible. It's, it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. And it's the simplest shit, too. Like, it's, 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 like every miscommunication between a couple is over the smallest shit. Like, the, it's the smallest thing that gets miscommunicated in every conversation after that is all bad because of that one thing. Say I'm wrong. I mean, you're right, but at the end of the day, uh, shit, niggas, niggas ain't trying, niggas are all communications, communicators as well, bro. Oh, I don't, no, I'm saying, that's on both ends. It's, it's, People it's, just can't communicate. Shit crazy. Because if, if I saw you, you had some shit, like, nigga, that is ugly as fuck. Don't ever put that shit on again. Like, damn, bro, for real? You just tell the girls, like, baby, I, I just don't like that one shirt you have. And Niggas in the doghouse. <laughs> That's it. But let a, let a man walk out. Uh-uh, baby. You ain't going out with me and I go, go back in there and change. Like, now this nigga got to get rid of this whole fit because she don't like it. But And it's one of those, like, he could really like that outfit, but because he's not communicating that, he's literally just letting shit slide. All right, she don't fucking like the shirt. I just want to fucking wear the shirt and go back in there. But a man could say, baby, I love you. I just don't like that shirt. And it's seen as... I was saying, it's the smallest things that, that cause an issue, and it's just like, I didn't know it was this big of a deal. I just thought it was a shirt, and that's that's one of the issues with it. You know something, bro? This is, this is way too serious of an episode. Yeah. I feel like it. I feel like this was way too serious of an episode. <laughs> hey, that's what happens, bro, when you get black men and black women all talking about each other ain't shit, bro. Hey, walls are going to be up and cannons going to be out. <laughs> Might have to go ahead and wrap this one up, <laughs> Too dangerous for us? Nah, I'm, I'm, me and Keith just tired of talking about it, right? <laughs> Go ahead and sign off, bro. This has been the Ignorant Dude. <laughs> Ladies, uh, I really appreciate you guys stepping on. Um, I don't know. Did you put this in the archives with Flexing? Nah, we, this one coming out. This one's gonna come out. <laughs> um, this one's gonna come out.
I really want I really want to say uh, appreciate you guys coming on, giving y'all y'all thoughts and uh and and combating back with us. Um at the end of the day I want y'all to shout out your YouTube pages. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop that at the bottom of the screen. And in the description box. I do all that. <laughs> My YouTube name is Kiana Aaliyah. I do beauty. Go check it out and subscribe. Don't worry, I'll spell it because trust me, you ain't gonna guess it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now it's just beauty? No, I, did beauty I say life? that? Oh, okay. It's beauty, life, advice. There we go. I don't do YouTube. Really? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Listen, I'm a few hundred thousand short of an AP, but no less presidential. No less presidential. Trying to come me for a drive in a Honda while they pushing a rental.